back to my YouTube channel. It's Hey Isabel, ang inyong full-time monitor slash teacher dito sa Thailand. So, bago po tayo magsimula, gusto ko lang magpasalamat to extend ang napaka-init na pasasalamat sa 279 viewers na nanood ng aking vlog or previous vlog na about uh, yung part 1. So, napas uh, salamat po ng marami sa mga uh, nagkaroon ng interest na manood at sa mga magkakaroon pa ng interest na panoorin ang aking video. 279 might still be a small digit pero para sa akin po dahil pagpaguhan pa lamang ako sa field na ito. So, 279 is already a big uh, big achievement for me. Imagine, I reached 279 people or 279 accounts uh, na, na encourage mo na manood. So, it means that there are a lot of people na na may pangarap na na, na makapunta dito. So, so I hope um, someone uh, someone sa 279 na yun ay makaalis or maka, maka may matupad na pangarap within, uh, within the 279 within this 2022. So, for today's video, eh, papatuloy ko ang, ang mga kailangan na asikasuhin na documents habang kayo ay nasa Pilipinas pa. So, wag na nating patagalin pa. So, to start off, the very first document na kailangan nyo para makaalis ng uh, inyong country is yung passport. So, um, marami pong uh, kaila marami pong paggagamitan yung inyong passport. So, this would be, this will be your primary uh, identification pagdating dito sa ibang bansa. So, be sure na before you leave the Philippines and hindi po kayo makakaalis ng Pilipinas na walang passport dahil ito po ay kailangan or pangunahing kailangan sa airport dahil may mga stamps po na ilalagay dito sa pages ng inyong passport. So, paano po kukuha ng passport? First is pumunta sa DFA website and then uh, i-fill up nyo po yung mga kailangan na sagutan doon na yung mga personal informations and then sa up um, kumuha po ng appointment. Okay? So, hindi po kayo i-entertain sa DFA kung wala kayong appointment. So, you can also choose where or uh, where would you want to process that one. So, marami pong DFA website uh, ang pili nasa pilian. So, uh, pili nyo po kung saan kayo pinakamalapit. Okay? Para, syempre, makasave na rin. And, parang meron din po siyang option if you would like it to be delivered sa bahay or if you want to like personally get it pag na-available na. Okay? So, yung passport po natin is 10 years ang validity. If madali na pong mag-expire yung passport nyo, please do renew. Okay? So, pag mga uh, one or less than one year na lang po around uh, less than one year, six months to less than one year na lang, please do renew uh, renew na kaagad. So, while waiting for your passport, since it will take you around 30 days to 2 weeks, so, habang nag-aantay po kayo, you can already start doing your resume. So, I guess resumes are, uh, were already uh, taught to us na, 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 na topic na po or parang naturo na po ito sa ating schools. When I believe when we were in high school, fourth year high school, we were already, um, uh, taught by our teacher how to make a resume, okay? Uh, even in college, even when I was in college, uh, gumawa din kami ng resume. We actually had our subject na gumawa kami ng resume and parang nag, nag, ang naging project or ang naging project namin noon or parang evaluation is or assessment is nagkaroon kami ng simple or parang sim, uh, simulation ng job interview. So I guess uh, everyone is already familiar with a resume and how to do it. Uh, if gusto niyo po ng medyo artistic na resume, which I do recommend na make your resume artistic or make your resume unique, kasi alam niyo naman, pag naghahanap tayo ng trabaho, is hindi lang naman tayo ang aplikante. Marami po na pwedeng mag-apply. And each person has uh, a lot to offer, okay? So, para mabenta natin ang ating sarili to show our employer na tayo yung the best, tayo yung dapat kunin, is we should have or we should create a good or, uh, yeah, we should create a good resume. So, this is actually my resume. So, ito po yung aking resume. Sorry if hindi makita. So, ito yung aking resume. Um, if you would like to make it creative, there are actually a lot of websites 
or apps that can help you. So you just need, so ang yung resources po natin is nandiyan na. Okay? So just, you just need to work on with the resources. Kahit nandiyan na yung resource, yung source, kung hindi natin alam kung paano gamitin, sayang. Okay? So you can try to use uh, Canva and other uh, resume maker app. So pag nag-search naman po kayo sa Google, ang dami naman, madaming lalabas. So try to find a good one. And also make a good one. You will ask me, ano yung mga dapat na sa resume? Sa aking resume ang nilagay ko lang is yung mga uh, basic information that uh, my employer should know about me. Para pa uh, bago niya pa ako interviewin is meron na siyang idea about me. Okay? So ano po ano ano yung mga information nyo? First is uh, yung aking contact information. Sure, para alam niya nagad na kung paano ako kontakin in case may tanong siya, di ba? Or in case uh, gusto niya, uh, I am subject for interview. So, yun yung unang-una nakalagay dito. So, I have my mobile number and I have my complete address as well. And uh, lahat naman siguro tayo may email na, right? So, uh, you should also include your email there. Second one is my um, educational background. So I put my uh, the schools na pinag yung mga schools ko from elementary to uh, to college. Yung iba is inilalagay yung elementary high school, uh, college na lang. But for me since I have I still have like a lot, I still have like a lot of space here. So nilagay ko pa rin. And of course, uh, you are uh, you uh, you are selling yourself to the employer. So dapat uh, ipakita mo yung na na uh, uh, I'm this is my edge uh, among the the other applicants, right? So you can also include there your achievements if you have, you know, di natin dapat kaya yung ating mga achievements kasi pinaghirapan natin yun, right? And then another one is yung pinaka importante is yung work experience. So I included here my work experiences. So makaila o makikita nyo yan yung mga work experience ko. Uh, kung ano yung position mo is sa pangalawa kung ano yung ano yung asino yung employer mo ano yung institution ganon. And nilagay ko din kung ilan uh, yung duration ng stay ko doon sa particular employer na yon. So yeah, very detailed. And then, syempre, hindi mawawala yung uh, character reference. So, uh, nilagay ko yung mga previous employers ko uh, with their contact information. Kasi, you know, alam yung ibang employer, uh, nag nag parang nag-background check sila. Right? So, in my experience, pa ako, uh, ako yung nilagay na character, inf uh, character reference ng friend ko. So, ako yung tinawaga ng employer. And of course, syempre, ma, ma, talaga naman na magalik yung kaibigin ko. So, hindi ko naman siya binigo. So, yun po, uh, la, ano lang, uh, parang i-share ko lang na nag, talagang nagbabackround check po yung mga employer. So, yan po yung resume. Syempre, huwag nyo rin makalimutan yung pangalan nyo and uh, your photo. So, um, since um, in terms of photo po, please do uh, put a formal photo. Hindi po yung picture na kinuha lang natin sa selfie natin. So, you know, for, ma for formality. Third is, pag bago po kayo umalis ng uh, Pilipinas, you can also settle your, uh, you know, your responsibilities, the SSS, PILHEL, pag-ibig. So, ang ginawa ko is, um, I checked if yung mga hulog or yung mga contributions ko is correct. From the time for from the time that I started to work up until yung last uh, job ko, okay. So I check kung tama ba yung hulog ko or kung hinulugan ba ako. Uh, kung may mga ad, uh, sure. Kung wala kang kung may time na nagresign ka, mga ola maguhulug sa yon. So you should uh, be the one to pay, okay. So if hindi nyo rin po yung mga gap na yung mga unpaid um, contributions na yon. And one thing na maganda is since we are already uh, in the technology world, uh, ginagamit na po natin yung mga uh, bagong teknolohiya. So, uh, those 
uh, those responsibilities, yung ethics para pilihan and pag-ibig, is we can already uh, pay. Pwede na po tayo magbayad using this, like the money apps or the money money transferring apps like the GCash uh, at yung iba pa. So, hindi na natin kailangan na magantay na makauwi o hindi na natin kailangan na makipasuyo sa, sa ating relative nas kailangan pa ng authorization you can already once settled and once you have your account pwede, pwede mo actually din na makita yung account yung account mo sa website nila mag create mag create ka lang ng account i log in put your password and makita mo na yung account mo doon um, makikita mo yung mga contributions mo every month so uh, pwede mong ma bayaran yun using these these apps this using these platforms Another um, document is this one. If you are like planning or if you have a target country na gustong puntahan, uh, you should uh, like check what are the requirements. So uh, in my case, since I'm in I'm bound to Thailand, um, mostly ang inahanap lang is Tisol and Tawik. Okay. Some some uh, if you have uh, some countries actually. Uh, uh, requires IELTS but dito is uh, TESOL and TOEIC lang naman but if I if you have IELTS or if you're an IELTS passer that is very advantageous okay so in my case I took the TESOL which means teaching English to speakers of other language and I took that uh, that course last 2019 and it is actually a 120 hour uh, our workshop or uh, training uh, on how to speak, uh, how to be, how you will teach English uh, to other uh, speakers, okay? And uh, marami actually ng uh, website na pwede, or school na pwede yung pag-enrollan kung gusto niyo magkwa ng tisol uh, like me. I choose uh, the Iowa or the International Open Academy. Uh, last 2019, I paid around 5,000 pesos para dun sa 120 hour na, uh, na training. And that, that 5,000 included my certificate. Ito po yung certificate. And uh, meron din siyang um, TOR. Ito yung TOR ko. Yan. Result transcript doon sa course or then sa, sa training. Uh, but this time, meron yung aking friend, kakatapos niya lang mag-tisol uh, sa ano naman siya, sa World Tisol Academy and he, that he paid uh, $34 or in bath, that is 1,200 bath. So, marami po. Uh, sa Google, maghanap lang kayo. And, syempre, yun kayo sa legit. Paano maghanap? Paano mag, uh, malaman kung legit? Look for reviews. Okay? So, you can try the Iowa or the International Open Open Academy or the World Tissot Academy. And last is, uh, before you leave the Philippines, uh, also, magpa-picture din kayo ng inyo ng formal picture. So, secure uh, passport size picture with a white background or kung wala, 2 by 2 pictures. So, ito po, tip lang para makatipid kayo. Um, you, if you papapapapicture po kayo, you can try to ask the soft copy of your picture and save it in your phone or in your uh, flash drive para next time kung uh, magpapa uh, magkailangan nyo ng picture is magpapaprint na lang kayo. But ako ang um, ating mga other documents na kailangan kasi medyo matagal yun eh. Medyo makiora oras yung mga bagay na yun. So, yan lang po at salamat. Maraming salamat sa pagtangkilik sa aking video. Bye!